So well, probably y'all's best game of the season, uh, but it still resulted in a loss. So what do you take away from tonight? Uh, ultimately, um, it's all about we've got to do our job. And uh, our job as defense is, is to create takeaways. We didn't do that tonight. And uh, we played really well um, as far as what the numbers were and how we played. I felt we played really, really physical. Uh, we flew to the ball. And um, we played really well as a unit. Uh, we got we got to take the ball away. Um, ultimately, that's, that's one of the things that we're – we're, we're still trying, trying to get better at, and um, there's some, it's a personal challenge to myself, not calling anybody else really. It's really um, just um, a challenge to myself to step up and uh, make that play when the time comes. So uh, I feel like we're playing, we played really well tonight, and we're starting to uh, hit our stride defensively. Uh, we got we got the takeaways, and that's a, something we can improve on moving forward. For, for both you guys, Coach Norvell talked about how the defense was supportive of the offense even after, after the game. Um, can you talk about that dynamic? and? And just how you're supporting each other right now, despite it's not being the start. Obviously, you guys have wanted this season. Oh uh, yeah, uh, you know the support from the defense was big. Uh, you know, going, the, I know that the defense gave you know stop that, just stop that, just stop it. Uh, I, I kept telling the defense like when they would come out the sideline, we got y'all, we got y'all. And, uh, and I just know I'm just looking on the sideline. The defense is over there supporting us on third down, on really on every down, and they just. Uh, and we were doing the same in the, uh, the fourth quarter, and we started to pick it up, and uh, we started to cheer it up. It's our offense. I mean, like, that's, that's our offense. We, we have to support them. Like, in order for us to be the team we want to be, we have to support them. And that's through putting, us putting up 100 points, that's putting up zero. We have to support them no matter what. And um, ultimately, as we keep going through the season, it's our job to back them up in whatever they do. It's touchdown, hold them. Sudden change, we get the ball back. Like ultimately, it's our job to support them through whatever they, whatever that we have as an offense. We can't we can't control it, but it's our job to whatever the outcome is that we got to go offensively. Jakai, you've played college football a ton. You've been you've been in the sport a long time. You've been on some great teams and some great offenses. As a guy, as a as a veteran, what what is your outlook on this offense? Why don't you think things have just clicked like they had in the past for you guys? Uh, it's not really it's just it's just the click it's just you know it's just us it's just us being as one as a uh, you know as an offense you know uh, all this is the same thing it's the same offense same exact same play it's just it's just everybody just got to be as one and, uh, and I see it's, it's coming because like if we, we pull it we pull it through we trying to come through and pull it through the games and, and, and finish through the fourth quarter but uh Ja'Kai, when, when fellow receivers have had drops, like what, what do you say to them encouragement-wise and, and kind of how do you help them kind of get through, I guess, disappointing play? Uh, yeah, uh, you, know, you, know, you know you don't want to drop balls, you know. But uh, when our guys come on the uh, sideline, tell them, bro, you know, you know we don't drop balls. You know, you know we on the judge. Come on, this is this judge. This is a judge machine catch. Come on, let's pick it up, pick it up. Yeah, it's just that, those picking up words, those words, help them and encourage them. But it's not just for them, it's just, you know, all the other guys that's, that's watching too, the receivers and right now, the tight end and stuff. You know, you guys, how do you how do you shake this off and, and, and stay positive and, and, and not let frustration set in? Uh, you know, just keep pushing each and every day. That's why I just see, you know, to each and every day, to, uh, step by step, and, uh, just coming out there and work. I know the, you know, the record is what it is, but, uh, you know, we got something to do. We, got, we still got a job ahead of us. Just keep working. Hey, guy, um, how do you, how do you, um, how do you think the, the two quarterbacks were performing? How did Brock the handle the, the, the three turnovers and how Luke just being thrown out there? How do you think that, just from what you've seen, how they handle the situation? Uh, what I've seen on the side, i just seen them both, uh, you know, you don't want to throw a pick and turn over the ball, but uh, as a quarterback, I know they, they, you know, it's it's bad. They gotta think about that play and just they go away because they, they they gotta think about the next play. So I see you. I see them guys. I see Brock. He just coming on the sideline, dapping us up. Let's go. Let's go. We got this. That's the, we got this. And uh, I'm seeing Luke. He just he, I see him poised and, and um, comfortable out there. And, uh, he was doing the same thing. Encourages. When Brock was out there, and when 
Proctor's, big boys on out there, Proctor's and Curtis Rush from the sideline. So both of them was doing, doing good. And kind of those two guys are kind of the future of the offense. Um, and they'll be here after you leave. Mm -hmm. What are your messages to them as far as trying to stay positive? Just, just keep <clears> pushing. <throat> like as all, I'm just, as all I'm just telling you, the, the young guy, just keep pushing. Just, just don't think. Uh, it's really, it's really about the little things. Really, with the, uh, just don't think about something big. Just, just take your day, day by day. You know, your turn gonna come, your time gonna come. But when it comes to opportunity, take, take, uh, take the opportunity. Justin, the last time we talked to you after a game, and you talked very con about your belief that that things would get going in the right direction, your confidence in the guys around you. I guess how do you how do you stay in that that mindset as as the season has played out? And I guess where where is your mindset at right now? Um, again, nothing changed as far as like how I feel. Um, obviously, I'm not the happiest person like, about this result that we have, but like the record, is, the record, and all that stuff that it, it is what it is. Like we like we can't. We can't go into each game thinking about what what the our current situation is. We have to go and we just to play, right? And, and for me, that's that's taking these games with a new attitude. And ultimately, I'm going to be a supporter of us, no matter the, no matter what, honestly. And, and people always talk crazy on social media saying about all about I'm not trying to hear none of that. Honestly, it's really it's really just about us in, in, in this room. And honestly, like the the team that we have and the people we have on this team is. I'm gonna say it again, it's the right people. And for whatever reason, multiple reasons that we have, it's, just, it's not working right now, but at the end of the day, then nothing we can do about it, just work, honestly. And um, that's, that's my kind of MO, that's my uh, thought process right now, is that whatever the reason is, we're going through what we're going through, um, it, it, we're gonna get through it. Like, we're always alive in the tunnel. Um, we're not gonna stay in this situation forever. Like, if we were just not, um, I, I refuse to believe we're just not. So ultimately, just um, you can't get done good, can't get done productive, going with your head down, gotta keep your head up and keep moving forward. Last one. Justin, I, I know he's on the different side of the ball, but Brock got benched, played not great in the first half. Did he prove anything to you and, and maybe the teammates for the way he did come back in the second half and kind of give you guys a spark and didn't kind of spiral, but actually played much better when he got back in the game? That's what the kid Brock is, honestly. His confidence is always gonna be at, on a 10, no matter what, no matter whether he's playing the number one team in the country, no matter if he's facing some certain challenges, um, Brock's always going to have the utmost confidence in himself and his teammates. And um, ultimately, whatever the situation was um, on the offensive side of the ball, he came back in the game with the same mindset he had going into the game. Um, you can't you can't dwell on the mistakes you make or the certain uh, aspects of the game that didn't go your way. Like if you, you, you dwell too much on them, you're not going to get anything productive done going forward. So um, he was great whenever he was in the game. I saw him supporting support his guys and on the sideline and um, just being in the game when he wasn't in the game when he got back in, um, he made plays for us. So uh, and Brock's always gonna be that guy to have that, that 10 out of 10 confidence and no matter what, what happens. So um, I'm, I'm proud of him and we're gonna keep moving forward and keep getting better. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you.